Welcome back to another edition of Get Well Acadiana with Dr. Kevin. Thank you so much for joining me on this fine Saturday morning. I'm, I'm the Senior Vice President of the Bryant Wellness Institute. We're Louisiana's most advanced functional medicine institute, and that means that we use some of the latest technologies available to treat some of today's most complicated health problems without drugs or surgery. I'm here with my co-host, Brandon Como. Brandon, how are you today? Uh, doing well, just enjoying this cool weather. I mean, n- we don't want all the rain and all, but the cool weather's nice. Yeah, very nice. It it, it, it makes me want to be in the deer stand. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, so I've got an, a great show today. Uh, we did a, a, a program uh, about six weeks ago on diabetes, and we had such a huge demand to bring that back. We We had a workshop on natural solutions for diabetes, and it filled up. And we had people that wanted to take that program that couldn't get in. And so I've had several people ask me to, when I had time to, to, to go through all that again. So we're bringing it back this month uh, on, on natural solutions for diabetes and, and, and prediabetes and, and weight problems. And, you know, it's been about six weeks. And the people that came to that program, we already have people starting to reverse their prediabetes and their weight and, and, and their diabetes. So it is quite a remarkable program. And, you know, that's the goal of the show. My goal for coming here is not just to be something interesting for you to listen to on your Saturday morning. My goal is to change people's health and to change people's lives using totally natural solutions and to show people that you can reverse the downward spiral of disease and symptoms if you just know what to do, if somebody just takes the time that's an expert to show you how to solve these things. And, you know, it is possible to do more than just manage your symptoms with drugs while you get sicker and sicker and your diseases get worse and worse. So there are options for you that you've not tried. There are ways that you can become healthier. And we, so we offer proven programs for these things. And, and, and state-of-the-art technology for for today's worst health problems, even chronic conditions like arthritis or thyroid or hormone problems or even brain health things like dementia and depression and anxiety. You don't have to live with these things. And, you know, also the subject for today, which is diabetes and prediabetes. And today I'm going to talk to you about the terrible rates and severity of diabetes and obesity and, and natural ways that that you can get it out of your life. So you don't want to miss the show, especially since, since as much as half of you out there listening may actually have pre-diabetes and don't even know it. So if you're if you're over 45 or if you're over 20 pounds overweight or if you get say grouchy if you don't eat or if you have you know, cravings for sweets, all of these things are indications that you may be developing prediabetes, and that is not something that you want. And if you know someone out there with diabetes or prediabetes, call them or text them and tell them to tune in. They're going to want this information that I have for you here today because we're going to go over blood sugar and obesity and weight loss and the role that insulin plays in the body and how you can finally get your health under control. And at the end of the show today, I want you to at least understand this one very important thing. And that is that diabetes is no longer a life sentence. And that it's not good enough just to manage your blood sugar and think that you're now healthy because your metformin is artificially keeping your blood sugar in this little box that they call normal. That's just not good enough because the truth is, if that's all you're doing, you're in real trouble. So thank you for tuning in. I'm really glad that you decided to join us and spend your Saturday morning with us here on these very important topics. And everybody listening either knows someone with diabetes or prediabetes or possibly has it themselves. And the thing is, you may not even know it. The vast majority of the people with prediabetes don't even know that they have it. But if you're having weight problems or if you crave sweets or, you know, if you if you feel a little lightheaded or, or grouchy if you don't eat or, you know, if you're if you're getting older, there you you have a really high chance of, of having prediabetes. 
diabetes and weight problems are such a huge issue in Louisiana. You know, worldwide, the United States has one of the worst diabetes and obesity problems of any other country in the world. And Louisiana has one of the worst out of all 50 states rates of diabetes, obesity, and weight problems. So that means that we live in the highest diabetes and weight problem area on this entire planet. It's possible that half of all Louisianians have prediabetes. Way over two-thirds of our population is either overweight or obese. And here's what's so frustrating to me about this. Diabetes is so fixable. People just don't know that. No one has taken the time to sit down with you and develop a comprehensive strategy to solve this. So the steps that I've laid out in our diabetes and weight pro program, it could save your life. You know, it could save your legs. 60% of lower limb am amputations are from diabetes. And it could save your kidneys. It could save your eyesight. Diabetes is the number one cause of kidney failure and blindness leading to people having to go to dialysis, which is something, trust me, you don't want to have to do, or lose, or lose their sight. And Louisiana has one of the highest rates of obesity and early death rates of anywhere on the planet. So, Acadiana, we've got to get this under control. And if you get one point out of the show today, this is my takeaway. This is the one important factor from the show today. This is what I want you to leave here knowing. People feel like as long as their blood sugar numbers are kept in range and that their diabetes medicine is artificially keeping their blood sugar and A1C in this little box, then they're healthy and that's all they need to do. And that's not true. So they went to the doctor and their blood sugar was off. So they started taking medicine. And after a while, they went and they got checked and their blood sugar numbers were now within this little box they call normal. So they consider themselves healthy. I've had these patients rate themselves an eight or a nine on a scale of 10 on how healthy they are. So they'll say, oh yeah, doc, I went to the doctor and my sugar was a little high. So he gave me some medicine. I'm good now. I'm healthy. That is not the pathway to a long, healthy life. It's just not. You have insulin resistant diabetes. That is a life altering chronic disease. That's not something that just, well, my sugar was high. So I take something and now I'm good. You really need to take this serious. Just because your blood sugar numbers are artificially kept in this normal range, there's still a whole host of things going on inside your body that are unhealthy. And you're going to more likely end up with worse problems down the road, even if your blood sugar numbers are artificially kept in this little box. And I know you probably have had your blood sugar and your A1C tested. Now, A1C is just blood sugar average over time. So A1C and glucose are both blood sugar numbers. But what about your insulin? Insulin is not blood sugar. Insulin is the hormone that controls blood sugar. Diabetes is a disease of insulin, not of blood sugar. So I will never understand why we don't check insulin in the diabetic patient or leptin for that matter, leptin is the hormone that controls insulin production. So these two hormones are critical in trying to solve diabetes and trying to help someone find out why their body is not using its glucose. Wouldn't we want to check insulin and, and leptin whenever we're evaluating someone to try to figure out how to fix their diabetes in their body? But if we're not going to try to fix it, we don't need to know that. But in functional medicine, we want to try to find out why your cells have become resistant to their, to their glucose. And in order to figure that out, you need to know what insulin is doing and you need to know what leptin is doing. So the bottom line is we want to try to get as far upstream as possible to try to find out why the body is doing what it's actually doing. We're one of the only labs that even bothers to test for insulin, but diabetes is essentially a disease of insulin. It's called insulin-resistant diabetes. So blood sugar and A1C is kind of like the symptom. When your insulin doesn't work right, your blood sugar goes up. Blood sugar is a symptom of your insulin not working correctly. So the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, 
We're not even getting to the underlying issues in the diabetic patient. We're not even following the right pathway. We're not even getting to the underlying issues. So we're going to dive into all this today on the show on Get Well Acadiana, but I just want you to know before we even get started that if you have diabetes, there are really great answers out there for you to solve this. This is no longer a life sentence, and you shouldn't be satisfied with just managing your blood sugar and thinking you're healthy. It's so much more complex than that. You have so many more things going wrong in your body than that that need to be addressed. Managing your blood sugar is not good enough if you want to live a long, healthy, functional life for as long as possible with both of your legs and both of your eyes and not having to go to kidney dialysis two or three times a week. You really need to do more than just saying, well, my blood sugar numbers are fine, so everything is good. Now, before break, I wanted to say that if you're interested in learning more about what you can do to permanently solve your diabetes, I'm hosting a free community class on November the 7th at 6.30 p.m. at the Hilton Garden Inn. That's right across from the Cajun Dome. It's called Four Secrets to Beating Diabetes for Good. And I'm going to show you how you can fix this. I'm going to show you how you can prevent all of these terrible things happening to you down the road and show you that there are solutions so that diabetes is no longer in your body and in your life. If you want to register, you can call 837-7174 and leave your name and number on the machine. And when we get back to work Monday, we'll give you a call and give you, give you some information on it and register you for your seat. Obviously, I'm not at work today, but if you'll call 837-7174 and leave your name and number on my machine, uh, we'll give you a call. And then you know we always have the text words. You can always text the word SUGAR to 77453. I thought I would get a little cute today with the text word, but you can text the word SUGAR to 77453 and your name will pop right up on our screen and we'll call you Monday and register you for our diabetes workshop. Stay tuned. We're going to be right back to discuss four secrets to beating diabetes. Welcome back to Get Well Acadiana with Dr. Kevin. Thank you for joining us today. We are dedicating today's show to try to help those looking for better answers for their diabetes and weight problems. And the truth is, like we discussed, we're not even really getting to the underlying issues with traditional diabetic treatments. You know, traditional diabetic treatments haven't changed in decades. There hasn't really been one advancement made in the treatment or the solution for diabetes. It's all about managing blood sugar. But just treating your blood sugar and your A1C is not getting to the reason that you have diabetes. Traditional treatments for diabetes is all about artificially keeping your blood sugar numbers and your A1C in this little box that they call normal. And you even see this, guys, on these commercials. You know, these diabetes drugs on television, it's all they talk about is reaching your A1C goal. A1C is not the problem with diabetes. A1C is a symptom of your cells becoming resistant to their insulin. Artificially forcing your blood sugar into this little box they call normal is basically managing the decline of your health. That would be like if your roof is leaking and you call the guy to come fix it. So he goes to his truck and gets a bucket and puts it in your living room floor where the water's dripping and charges you $200. You would never accept that. So why we accept that with our health, I will never understand. But the problem is not being addressed. It's so important for you guys to understand this point that diabetes is a disease of insulin. It's called insulin-resistant diabetes. Your cells have become insulin-resistant. Blood sugar and A1C is a symptom of that. Now, here's how the story goes. So your cells begin to become insulin resistant and your blood sugar and A1C goes up. So you start taking metformin or some other diabetes drug, which simply whips your pancreas to make more insulin. And all of that extra insulin will force your blood sugar and A1C numbers to go down. It will do that. And some people think, well, I'm fine. I'm fixed. But here's the problem. 
Number one, you haven't figured out why your cells have become insulin resistant in the first place. So you're going to keep getting sicker and your dosages are going to keep going up and up. Think about that. For those of you out there with diabetes, have they ever lowered your medication or do they keep raising it? Because the problem is not being addressed. Now, number two is, and this is big, insulin is toxic in very high numbers in humans. So if your A1C looks pretty on paper, but your insulin is four or five or six times normal, you're in real trouble because all of this insulin is toxic and creates inflammation. And inflammation is the precursor to almost every other chronic disease, including heart disease and cancer. So here's the problem with all of this. Nobody even tested your insulin to see what your insulin numbers are. So how we cannot know what your insulin levels are in somebody that's a di diabetic, diabetes is a disease of insulin. And so, like I said, it's called insulin-resistant diabetes. So the thing is, blood sugar and A1C can be changed with medicine, but it raises your insulin. And insulin is toxic in high numbers and, and really high levels in humans. So we have two issues. We have two problems. The biggest challenge that we face whenever we talk to a diabetic patient is this. So we really have two things that we're looking at. One problem is trying to figure out why their cells have become resistant to insulin and how do we get their cells to begin to use their insulin and start to work better. But the second problem is more challenging, and that is getting the diabetic patient to understand that just because your A1C and your glucose looks pretty on paper doesn't make you healthy. In fact, it's very dangerous because it lulls you into this false belief that your diabetes has been taken care of. And this whole time, no one has looked at your insulin or your leptin levels or trying to figure out why your body has become resistant to its insulin in the first place. And that's a shame because insulin signals fat storage and is damaging in high numbers. So the fact is insulin does the most of the damage long term. So it's time for a totally new approach in the way we're treating a patient with diabetes. Most people with diabetes can't even really tell you what's going on inside their body. Like they can't even tell you. I'll say, tell, you, tell me what you know about diabetes. Well, it just means my, my blood sugar's up. They've never really even looked it up to see what is going wrong inside their body. So when I ask a patient to tell me what you know about diabetes, many times they have really no clue, which that always kind of surprises me. If somebody told me, if a doctor told me I had something as serious and chronic in my body as insulin-resistant diabetes, something as deadly and life-altering as diabetes, I would be researching everywhere I could trying to find out what that means and what my body is actually doing and what's going on and, 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 and how I can solve this. But for some reason, people don't really see it as that serious. And I think this because maybe so many people we know have it, but this is a very serious, life-altering, deadly disease. Here's what diabetes actually is. So insulin's job is to take the sugar that you eat and to put it inside your cell to be used for energy. So cells are designed to do something. Cells perform functions. So a skin cell protects, a muscle cell contracts, a nerve cell transmits, a stomach cell produces acid, and on and on and on throughout your whole body. Now, in order for your cells to perform that function, it needs fuel, just like your car needs gasoline as fuel in order to run. Now, that fuel that your cells use in order to perform all their functions is glucose. So insulin's job in your body is to take that glucose and unlock your cell wall and to put that glucose inside your cell to be used for fuel. So if we're back to the car analogy, it's as if you're gassing up your car and you have one of those locking gas caps. So the gas that you're putting in your car is the glucose. Insulin is the key that you've used to unlock that gas cap so that you can get the fuel inside your car to be used. In diabetes, it's as if someone switched out the key. So the gas, so the gas cap, it, it has the wrong key. The, the lock is broke. It can no longer unlock that gas cap to get the sugar inside the cell. 
So the insulin is trying to unlock the lock to put the glucose inside the cell to be used, and it's not working. The lock is broke. Now, when that happens, you have all of this extra sugar building up in your blood. So your body has to store it somewhere so it builds extra fat cells to store all the sugar there. And just like if you couldn't put the gas in your car, it would run out of gas and it wouldn't have the energy to go anywhere. If the sugar can't get inside the cell, you're going to run out of energy. So you're going to be fatigued and not have the energy to go. So if you have fatigue often, that's a sign of prediabetes, even if you don't know it. Now, at this point, you're now fatigued, you're gaining weight. And you may still just have prediabetes, but you may crave sweets because what happens is your body is going to send out signals that you're starving so that you will crave sweets. Your body's wanting more and more sugar. Even though you have sugar, it's not getting inside the cell. Now, the other thing is that your brain requires the most energy out of any other part of your body. I think it's something like 40% of your energy requirement is in your brain. Your brain requires huge amounts of energy and glucose in order to function. So now that person has brain fog or dementia. That's why they're now calling di uh, Alzheimer's diabetes of the brain. So your chances of getting Alzheimer's if you're diabetic doubles or triples for this exact reason. So the problem with diabetes is that the lock doesn't work. And now you have this whole chain of events taking place. And it's not that you need more insulin is that the insulin can't get the sugar inside the cell because the lock is broken. So then you start taking metformin. All metformin does is it whips your pancreas to produce even more insulin. So it's like you can't get the gas cap off, so you just dump gasoline all over the top of your car, basically. And if you can't get the insulin, or if you get enough insulin around the cell, it's like you just rip the, rip the cap off of the gas tank. It just forces, it's like kick the door open and force all that sugar inside the cell. And yes, that will bring the blood sugar down, but you have tons of extra insulin in your body and it might be three or four or five times normal and that's poisonous to your body. All of this insulin is toxic to humans. So the key to figuring this whole system out is to figure out why the lock has stopped working. Why has the cell stopped accepting its insulin? How do we fix the lock? That's the secret. How do we make the lock and key start to communicate again? And when we get to that point, when we can start to figure that out, now we're actually getting somewhere in solving diabetes in the human body once and for all. You're listening to Get Well Acadiana. I'm Dr. Kevin. If you're interested in knowing more about natural solutions to solving your diabetes, I'm hosting a free community class called Four Secrets to Beating Diabetes for Good. My class is going to be at the Hilton Garden Inn November 7th at 6.30 p.m. That's a Tuesday. If you'd like to register, you can call my office at 837-7174 and leave your name and number on the machine and I'll call you Monday when we get back to work and give you some information and register for your seat. Obviously, I'm not at work. It's Saturday morning. The number is 837-7174. That's 837-7174. Or simply text SUGAR to 77453. SUGAR to 77453. Now, for those of you in the New Iberia area, Dr. Fontenot, who's also a brilliant functional medicine specialist, he runs our New Iberia Clinic, He'll be having the exact same workshop on the exact same day in the New Iberia area. Their number is 367-2567. If you're closer to a New Iberia, you can go there. It's 367-2567. In Lafayette, it's 837-7174 or text SUGAR to 77453. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Get Well Acadiana with Dr. Kevin. Thank you for joining us today on the show. We're discussing diabetes today, and I'm hoping to give you some facts on what happens in the body with someone that has diabetes. 
Now, before break, we were mentioning that the sugar begins to build up in your bloodstream and your body has to do something with it. So it begins to build extra fat cells to store all that blood sugar in. And since the sugar doesn't get inside the cell to be used for energy, the person starts to feel lethargic and low energy. And since the brain runs almost completely off of sugar, the brain activity is largely diminished. So that's why in 2005, the Journal of Alzheimer's began calling Alzheimer's diabetes of the brain because of how closely associated blood sugar insulin, and brain health is. And we also said that insulin at very high levels is toxic in humans, and it's the extra insulin that gives you most of the side effects from diabetes long-term. I'll give you a perfect example of what I mean. So I said earlier, folks with diabetes have twice the risk of developing Alzheimer's. But people that take insulin or medication that increases their insulin have a four times greater risk of getting Alzheimer's because it's the high levels of insulin that's toxic to the brain and other organs in humans. So it's not good enough just to take medication to keep your blood sugar in this box and say you're healthy. You're still not healthy. There are really serious things still going on in your body that need to be addressed. And as this blood sugar begins to build up in the body and spills over into the kidneys and into the urine, the body will begin to urinate more frequently. And we can pick this up on our urinalysis that we do. And we see this happening on urinalysis in patients all the time that had no idea they were pre-diabetic. And they're already in serious trouble and had no clue. This extra urination causes excess thirst. So the blood gets too thick which we can pick up on their blood work. This causes poor circulation in the extremities and they start to get these non-healing wounds and these ulcers that won't heal. And since the sugar's not getting in the cell to be utilized for energy, the body thinks it's starving. So these patients crave food and crave sugar all the time. They're constantly hungry. So they're literally, their cells are starving, but they're overeating all at the same time. And that compounds this downward spiral of cravings, sugar cravings, hunger, and weight gain, and worse, diabetes. And as the circulation continues to get worse, these non-healing wounds progress more and more until the limbs have to be amputated. The small arteries in the eyes begin to be affected, eventually causing blindness. So diabetes is not just this little thing that I have, and I take medicine, and and my, my sugar's been good, I'm healthy. This is a serious disease. And just because you know several other people that have it doesn't mean that it's some little minor thing and you take your metformin and everything's good. This is not the road that you want to be forced to walk down. As a functional medicine practitioner, we now know without a doubt that diabetes does not have to be a life sentence. We can turn this around if you're just willing to do so. You have to be willing to do what it takes. But again, we've sort of been misled to think as, you know, by the commercials on, on TV, you know, as long as I'm keeping my blood sugar healthy, everything's good and, and, and I'm fine. It's not, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not saying it's easy or simple to figure this out. The human body is very complex and it takes time for me to sit down with you and to figure out why is the lock and key not working? Why have your cells stopped utilizing their insulin? And then put a strategy in place to reverse the underlying reasons that this is happening in your body. You can't figure all this out in a three-minute office visit. It just, this takes time. And I can promise you one thing. My staff and I will always listen to you with concern and treat you with compassion. You know, that's our motto is to listen with concern and to treat with compassion. I'm hosting a free community class called Four Secrets to Beating Diabetes for Good where I can show you at a cellular level what's going wrong with the lock and key. What's happening that the cells are starting to, to not accept their insulin in the diabetic patient. And I'll show you the technology that it takes to get your cells to start utilizing their insulin at a higher rate. And that's the only way you're ever going to get rid of this for good is to figure out 
why the lock and key are no longer able to work. Why is the key not working in the lock? And that's really the underlying, the underlying secret to solving this thing. If you want to register, you can call 837-7174 and leave your name and number on the machine. And when we get back to work Monday, we'll give you a call and give you some more information on it and register your, your seat. It's 837-7174 or text SUGAR to 77453. That's SUGAR, S-U-G-A-R, to 77453. Now, Dr. Fontenot is hosting the class in New Iberia. That number is 367 367- Two five six seven. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Get Well, Acadian, with Dr. Kevin. I hope you've enjoyed the show so far today. But more importantly than that, my goal is not just to come here and be interesting to listen to. My goal is to change people's lives. And the reason that I spend an hour out of my day doing this show is because I truly care about the people of Acadiana's health. And to be honest with you, y'all. There's a lot of work to do. I see so many patients in my practice that have ignored their health problems for years and years because, well, honestly, they're just too busy. You know, there's something that we call mommy and daddy syndrome. Mommy and daddy syndrome means that I take care of everything else under the sun and I put myself where? Last. You know, I don't have time to worry about that. I got to bring the kids somewhere. Oh, I don't have time to do that. I got to make the house payment. No, I got to get to work. I got a car payment. I got gas, groceries, bills, spouse. All, all of this, and health gets put where? Back burner. So mommy and daddy syndrome means that I take care of everything else under the sun, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and I don't take time for my health. But let me ask you a question. Can you take care of your kids if your health fails? Can you even make your house payment if you get to the point where you can't work? As many times, that's what happens. We put it off and put it off and put it off, and then we become disabled. And then what? Who's going to replace you? No one in your household could replace you. And grandparents as well. We have grandparents syndrome where we're just too busy (laughs) and we don't take time for ourselves and we have to. So where should mommy and daddy's health be on the list of priorities? It should really be top of the priority list. And most people is not even on the list. I hate to say it this way, but honestly, we have a bit of a priority problem as Americans. We're all so driven to go, go, go and work, work, work and put food on the table and make the house payment and have the big house and have the new car that we put our health last. So if you won't take care of your health for you, like if you're not important enough to you to take care of your health for, realize that when you take care of your own health, you're actually helping your children and helping your spouse and helping your family. You know, I was fortunate enough to realize this about six years ago. I was 40 years old. I had my son a little bit late in life. I was 240 pounds, obese. I had sleep apnea, high blood pressure. I was borderline diabetic. And then I had my son. And I was looking into the eyes of a brand new baby boy. And I thought to myself, if I want to see graduation, if I want to see grandkids and weddings, I need to make a change. That was 73 pounds ago. That was six years ago. I went from obese to a Louisiana Masters Physique champion at 45 years old. I know losing weight's not easy or fun. I know paying attention to your health is something that you don't want to deal with. But it's doable. We can achieve these things if you're just willing to do it. I know you guys don't want to pay attention to your health. I know you're too busy, but you have to. I know everybody wants to just pop a pill and ignore it and keep going. But it's going to catch up with you because you're not addressing the underlying issues. Part of my job as a wellness advisor and health coach and functional medicine physician is to have people take their health out of their behind their back. And let's really take a look at it for what it is. It's not good enough just to pop a pill and keep going. We have to address these things now before it's too late. I really appreciate all you guys listening today. I want you to know that I truly want to help each and every one of you out there figure out a solution. This is my purpose. My purpose is to try to help as many people as possible live a better life and be healthy for as long as absolutely possible. If you like what you heard heard today, 
and you think that my, my program might be something that you're interested in, if you have prediabetes or you have weight problems or you have sugar cravings or if you have fatigue or you're starting to get dementia, I'm hosting a free class called Four Secrets to Beating Diabetes for Good. Now, we only have seating for about 20. Last time it filled up and we had to turn people away. So if you want in, you should call right away. It's going to be November 7th at 6.30 p.m. at the Hilton Garden Inn. The number to register is 837-7174. That's 837-7174. Or you can text the word SUGAR to 77453. Dr. Fontenot will be hosting the very same class at our New Iberia office at the exact same time. The number there to register is 367 2567. That's 367 2567. So in Lafayette, the class one last time is 837 7174 or text the word sugar to 77453. I want you all out there to know that my purpose is to try to help and, and solve as many people's health problems as possible using natural drug-free solutions. I've been on a 20-year quest now to solve these complex disorders using natural solutions. Many times people don't even realize that you don't have to rely on more and more medication while your body gets sicker and sicker until you end up with some major life-threatening disease. But I can't do it without you. You have to meet me halfway. But I'll do whatever I have to do to develop a comprehensive strategy to reverse your health permanently once and for all, and I'll coach you through the entire thing. I'll hold your hand through the entire process. You don't have to know how to do it. You just have to be willing to do it. Now, I only accept patients that I truly feel like I can help. And if I ever feel like I can't help you, I won't waste your time. The truth is, I don't have to accept patients I don't think I can help. I, I, I'm, I can barely keep up as it is. We're busy enough. Sometimes we almost have a waiting list to get into our clinic. So this is about you. We have patients driving from literally all over Louisiana to come see us. A bunch from Baton Rouge, Alexandria, Lake Charles, all over Louisiana. And I really appreciate all of our patients, every one of them. So thank you, Acadiana. The class is called Four Secrets to Beating Diabetes for Good. The number is 837-7174 to register or text the word SUGAR to 77453. New Iberia's number is 367-2567. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I really appreciate the audience. Thank you guys. Have a good weekend.